Markets rallying on this vaccine news once again. It feels like Groundhog Day if you rewind back to Monday of last week. But are markets getting essentially ahead of themselves, do you think? Well, thanks for having me on the show, Matt. I mean, obviously the markets have rebounded pretty strongly, but the strongest bounces have been in the markets which have been lagging fairly badly um, in, uh, in September and October. So we're talking there the UK, we're talking Europe, you know, Australia's obviously done really well, you know, and America probably isn't doing so well given its massive tech exposure. So, you know, I'm not sure the market's getting ahead of itself because the vaccine announcements, particularly, you know, first of all from Pfizer, but then particularly from M Moderna, uh, seems to be overcoming all the obvious obstacles we had from the first announcement in that they believe they can store their drug at 20 degrees minus um, on Celsius scale. So look, to me, there's a lot of liquidity in the markets. It's more of a case of rotation out of expensive tech stocks into cheaper cyclicals. You know, so energy and financials, they've been pretty beaten up. So I'm not sure the market's getting ahead of itself, but I think if these trends continue, um, you know, and the growth outlook continues to improve, then I think there's more legs in the rotation at this stage. Right. How are you playing that rotation at the moment? Are you taking part out of tech into some of those more cyclical names? We've certainly been buying the markets which have been the beaten up ones, which have got the cyclical uh, structures. So, you know, we've got some options on the UK, which is a um, on the UK market, which is risk controlled. If things suddenly went bad, you know, you, the option would become worthless. And so the downside risk is just the cost of the options. We've also purchased a bit more EM and we've probably been lightening the amount of diversification uh, or sorry, the diversifiers within the portfolio. Um, and, and the reason for that is now we can kind of see the recovery taking hold and strengthening in the second half of next year. You know, that we still have a lot of diversification in there because we've got rising case numbers, particularly in the US. You know, we have a large fiscal drag and so negotiations aren't really going to come in until President-elect Biden uh, gets into 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. That's the 20th of January. So there's still quite a gap uh, between w what we see is the sustained recovery in the second half of next year. But uh, nonetheless, the valuations in those traditional cyclical sectors and the cyclical markets certainly are a lot more attractive than what you would see, for example, in US tech. So we have been rotating, uh, but we're doing it in a very risk controlled way.